Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome back to my channel, it's Lina. I just got a little bit sick, but I wanna so much record this video. I would like to compare two countries, my uh, motherland Russia and uh, Egypt. I'm living in Egypt already more than one year, so I think I qualified enough to to tell you what better and like pros and cons. <coughs> so I was working here in the nurseries and as I get it that all nurseries here it's you need to pay, it's not for free and uh, it's like private nurseries and it doesn't matter even which uh, like level it is even if it's not so fancy anyway 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 you need to pay some amount of money so if it's uh, if i would compare with russia we don't have uh, nurseries we have nurseries like private and yes you need to pay but most it's governmental nurseries and you're not paying anything maybe even if you pay it's so small money <clears throat> and maybe it's like per year you know just like donation or something but you're not paying and um, for me <clears throat> if I would like to uh, put my kid in a nursery in Egypt or Russia I would prefer Russia because uh, in nurseries in Russia they will sleep three hours during the day, they have a nap time, they have a bed and uh, they will eat at morning like breakfast, lunch and snack and it's for free and it's good really quality of food and uh, quality of uh, its own uh, nursery but in uh, Egypt, Egyptian nursery they're just uh, making them uh, lunch and yes, they can bring uh, their own lunch box, but they can sleep. And it's really so hard for kids, especially like, you know, they're growing, they need to have a nap. Sometimes they're so tired and they fall, fall asleep at the table. And I think it's not good. So if I would prefer, I will choose, like, what I will prefer more, I will choose Russia. About schools, yes, you have here. In, we have here in Egypt international schools and private, good, uh, like uh, with good education, like you know, good level. Um, but uh, I think m most of them you need to pay also if you would like to have a good level of education. You need to pay for books to bring, yeah, for like. Mm, to prepare for, for for future year of school and in Russia you don't need to pay like go from government schools you just go into school that's it and uh, they even give you books <clears throat> so but I like here plus uh, that in even at nursery they teaching them English I was as an English teacher so kids learning at the same time their native language and English. In Russia, it's not exist. English teacher at nursery, it's not exist. We have English teacher. It's just it's second grade of a school. When you will be you when you will turn eight years old, you will start learning English. Before it, before this moment, no, we don't have it. So this is a really great plus of Egypt that you learning any other foreign language so early like kids can choose french they can choose uh, english maybe what else maybe german and it's really great <clears throat> also kids here go into school at i think it's like kgb or a preschool something they could go in at six i think maybe even at five our kids in russia they will allow to go to school at seven years old yeah years old yes uh, they will not go earlier before seven you need to be all the time uh, in the nursery or just before just like some note <coughs> with NS. so about uh, healthcare uh, by my experience because 
here I broke my ankle, I burned my hands, I had some problems with uh, like my teeth, and like I was quite often uh, at the hospital, and it was private, and we needed to pay for even emergency call like uh, this. I burned my hand, but because I'm a foreigner, uh, we need to pay. Yes, maybe Egyptian health insurance or something. So I didn't feel like they were qualified uh, doctors or nurses. I don't know. Even when I had this like broken ankle and I had uh, yips or how. So when they needed to cut this, I don't know, <clears throat> something that was covering my ankle, they needed to cut it and they looked at it, looked at it and they didn't know how to cut, they were so like confused, afraid that they didn't do this first time. So I think I will give Egypt, it's out, out of 10, maybe, I don't know, eight maybe about russia healthcare we have for free and we have of course private and uh, we need to pay and i think like in egypt it's a little bit less money so i think maybe it's better uh, like more affordable in egypt than in russia but i think in russia will have much more qualified doctors even uh, this one was like for free, but it also depends because okay, I can tell you like 100% because, for example, in my village, uh, we have a hospital, it's for free, but those people they got their education 30 years old, and till now, like they already lost everything, they don't know, they don't have any knowledge, like they're not updating themselves, and sometimes they making like a wrong diagnosis, and really people dying. And I had like few examples it was people from my family they died because our um, uh, doctors made wrong diagnosis so about healthcare it's like i think i will vote for vote for each this bad so first education i like here because education here uh, yes it's not maybe totally for free but you can find good education and it's the main uh, benefit for me is you, they will teach you good English because in Russia, English teacher, even in school, they have a so low level of English so they will not teach you properly really, that's why Russians don't know English they're not teaching them good at schools uh, so education good here because of languages and healthcare good here, affordable, and I think it's good, you can find here qualified people. <clears throat> weather, I like here weather, but um, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable when at winter, during day it feels like summer, and at evening and during night it feels like, I don't know, autumn, so cold. And the main problem for me, it's a little so cold, of course it's not minus degree how in Russia, but the main, main problem for me that in home, in houses, you don't have anything like gas pipes or something that make you warm, just this fan with uh, warm uh, heat heaters or something, and that's it. And I really last winter I felt so free, I was freezing here at evening, at night, I was like. Totally not enjoying this winter. I hope future winter winter are gonna be better. I will bring maybe more heaters. I don't know. But I would like to have maybe in Egypt like some pipes, like gas pipes for people who often feeling like every time freezing, like me. Yeah, and people telling hear me to me like, oh, you're from Russia, you're not supposed to freeze, not supposed to feel cold. What is this? I'm a human. It's supposed to be feel, you know, as any humans to feel when it's so hot and when it's so cold and we need it to react somehow. So winter anyway, here it's good weather. Yes, sometimes so hot, 
but you can strike. You can just stay at home and under air condition for some like those months is August, July maybe or September, and that's it. The rest of the uh, months uh, it's good, it's comfortable. You don't have here at all rain and it's great, you know, because really you have all kind of uh, you know weather in Russia: rainy, cloudy, foggy, you know, snowy. Storms, lightning, everything, even in summer. So I like here like a little stable weather because I'm so like mm, my mood depends on weather. If it's outside rain, I will be depressed. If it's outside sun, I will be happy. You know, because people like they they like I win with them. So another benefit is weather. <laughs> I don't like here garbage in Cairo. I was expecting that capital of uh, Egypt supposed to be so great and fancy. And yes, you have uh, in Cairo fancy district and everything. But anyway, I expected it's supposed to be everywhere, not in some only places. That's why I sometimes I'm so hated because yes, we, have, uh, we in Russia have garbage, but I don't know. It's like they clean it so so quickly, and I don't know. It's about mentality. Maybe people not throwing away stuff just to the street. Because here, I just found people who well educated, who like from good families, and they're doing the same. They throwing stuff at the street because they see okay, it's already at the street. Everywhere garbage. Why not? I will throw too. So this is no like because I feel like in Russia more clean cities, villages, especially capital, it will be like so clean, you will not find any, you know, in the center or at any hour district you will not find too much garbage. So this is good. And uh, <clears throat> what else? Uh, I like here also that you have sea here, like Yes, in Cairo you don't have, but you can go drive and you to see it's not so good for me because for us we need to drive for so long so like long distance everywhere, you know, to another city, maybe 100, 1000 kilometers to, you know, other place somewhere else, you know, 2000 kilometers because we're a big country and it's like so far away, everything. But here it's a little bit like from one city to another, you know, you can move, it's like more more comfortable. I don't like here public transportation, except like green bus, okay, your air conditioner, but mostly like it's so uncomfortable, so old, and it's so hard really, like me as a permanent to go to public transportation. And it's not every time, like don't have an exactly schedule, like in Russia, and uh, sometimes it's go coming, sometimes it's not, you know, sometimes it's like full of people every time. Traffic jam here too much. Yes, we have in Moscow, but uh, in our cities mostly we don't have too much traffic jam. And I don't like how people driving here. Like there is no rules on the street, everywhere horn. It made me headache. Uh, everywhere screaming, talking, like too much noises, really. So about transportation and uh, roads, I feel like it's better in Russia. What else? So, in the general, I like Egypt. I think I have a more pro pros, pros, and con pros to Egypt. And people here, so good, so friendly, really, really. Because, example, now, you know, like you are, you have people that like, between each other, me and another Russian girl, she trying to be mean. To me, she like, you know, not honest sometimes, or he, it doesn't matter. Like, okay, my friend, no Russian, I feel like they're not sometimes so good to me. And I feel like more help from Egyptian girls, from Egyptian people, they're more friendly, they're more open, they don't try to sneak, hide, play, and I like it more, really. Because in Russia, you go to see another girl, she will look at her like, what is this piece of shit or something. She will like talk, gossip, and you know, even if she's a friend. But here it's like, I don't know, it's a little bit friendly, I like it. 
and uh, here I put you know you treat foreigners good I think like you, you know it's not hard to find for foreigner work and it's great because now I, I just hired in a five-star hotel and I have education I'm just at Finnish college and give my degree hotel service but if I'll go to Russia and go to five-star hotel they'll tell me where is your experience um, you need to know you know system you need to know five fucking languages or something so just for my language so I mean like it's hard yeah you can they can hire you but it's not so you know sometimes they're like they will think twice but here it was I think a little bit easier for me so I like it and in trailer I think I like Egypt more but I just uh, also like the country so if you would like to know more about Russia, about life, maybe prices, how right now it's going on because it's just two months return from Russia and uh, I, you know, like still have updates I was visiting so I can maybe make more of these videos comparing or talking about my experience living in Egypt I have a lot of stories by the way so, but for now, that's it, thank you for watching, love you all, bye!